and lo and behold they've gone and sent it to the outlet here now which is at house of fraser i remember this stock very well and i am pretty pretty confident let's go with 85 percent sure that this is the x stone island stock directly from the hackney outlet what is going on good people so listen in this video i am in Birmingham City. It's been an absolute hot minute since I've been to Birmingham City and usually when I come to Birmingham I usually drive but this time around I got the train. It was nice and easy to get the train from London. I think it was about an hour and 30 minutes, hour and 40 minutes so it wasn't too bad at all. So yeah, really quick to get to Birmingham from London and the reason why I'm down here is because some followers have been telling me about a hidden outlet that is meant to have tons of outlet stuff in there so that's why I've come to check it out. But before I get there I needed to pass through Apple because I needed to charge some of my equipment so Apple was good enough to let me pass through and do that. So once I did that I continued my trip through um, Birmingham city centre on my hunt on the way to find the phrase group or House of Fraser's store in Birmingham because this is where it's meant to be going down. Now followers have been reporting about Stone Island, Bellstaff, CP Company, tons of stuff so I thought it, it's definitely worth us checking out because it was meant to be quite good. So this is the House of Fraser's here guys and that store is absolutely massive. I think there's about five or six floors it's a massive massive store right here in the middle of Birmingham and if you if you might even not notice it really if you were to walk past but the whole store is being used as an outlet store look they've even got game in there guys because game was purchased by Fraser Group and now they've closed down all the game shops and then they've put them inside the stores to try and save money and capacity within the stores. Now I w made my way to the first floor because apparently that's where the deals were and as you can see there is an absolute monumental amount of stuff. Look how much CP company is here guys and this is 20% off the sale price. This is not 20% off RRP. So prices here were pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. But what has happened to CP Company? This brand is getting watered down and rinsed. It is just on sale everywhere. So I just feel like the, the brand for me has really lost a lot of value, man. Um, always on sales, always in these outlets, always in um, TK Maxx, Sports Direct. I don't know. But anyway, I saw lots of Bell staff in here. They also had Paul Smith. Uh, they had some Paul and Shark. Loads of brands, guys. And all of this stuff that you see, all of it is all on sale. So if we check out the price here, this went down to 75, but that will be 20% off the 75 pounds, which is gonna be like, maybe like 50 pounds or something like that. So yeah, lots of um, deals in this store, guys. So I was w walking around trying to look for Stone Island. I couldn't find it. I saw there was some Adidas in the store there. Um, also saw some Lyle and Scott, which I'm not a huge fan of personally. But I have never seen so many items on sale in one place. And remember, guys, this is just one floor. This is the menswear floor. There was also home, home wear and accessories, women's wear as well was available on another floor. There was a, so much stuff. It was absolutely ridiculous. I feel like what's happened is this Birmingham store is being used as the outlet maybe for all of the stuff across the country. And they're probably sending it here. Smart wear, look, suits down to 59 for a full suit. I mean, come on, that's 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 not too bad if you're looking for some deals. So I would suggest if you are in Birmingham or you're around the surrounding areas, I, I think it would be worth passing through just to have a look. I couldn't really stay too long because my train was going to leave at 3 o'clock. It was about 1 o'clock and I had some things to do. So I, I think I might book a trip and try to come back down to Birmingham so I can have a proper look around and see what's about. So what happened was I spoke to the gentleman about the Stone Island and he said, look, that's actually up on the fourth floor with all our luxury stuff. So I was like, there's another floor with more stuff. So I thought, you know what, let me go and check that out. I know the team is going to want to see what type of deals are in here. So I made my way up to the fourth floor. You can see the second floor is all homeware stuff. I think the third wear looked like it was women's wear and then eventually I got myself up to the fourth floor and I found it guys. I found the Stone Island bits that people were saying was on sale. 
Now, the funny thing is, I recognize this stock. I actually recognize this stock. This stock looks like all the stuff that used to be at the present outlet over in Hackney, guys. Yes, and you're probably wondering, well, how, how has that happened? How has the Hackney outlet stuff ended up in this Birmingham House of Fraser store in the Midlands? Well, basically, in case some of you didn't know, as far as I'm aware, for marketing, which does the distribution for Stone Island, is also part owned by Fraser Group Sports Direct, aka Mr. Mike Ashley himself. So what that means is Fraser Group Sports Direct, Mr. Mike Ashley himself, has some control as to where these Stone Island items are going, essentially. And lo and behold, they've gone and sent it to the outlet here now which is at House of Fraser. I remember this stock very well and I am pretty pretty confident, let's go with 85% sure that this is the X Stone Island stock directly from the Hackney outlet. Okay, even this top here that I'm holding, I remember it very well. I used to go to the outlet all the time so I was very familiar with the stock that was there. But um, a lot of this stuff was around about 40-50% off I believe RRP so it wasn't it wasn't as good as the sale that was happening over at Bista Village Stone Island outlet. Um, these prices were just slightly above that, if, if, if anything. Now, there was also a lot, a lot of kids wear stuff. So if you're looking for kids stuff, you'll probably find a lot of it um, here in this outlet. So you can see the prices there. I think that jacket was 350. To be honest with you, if you're making your way down just for the Stone Island stuff, there wasn't a massive amount of stock there. The stuff that you see here was literally all the stuff that they had. But if you're looking for like CP Company, they had tons of CP Company. Um, as you can see here, lots of CP Company. And this is not to forget the stuff that was also downstairs. You saw downstairs, there was a full section full of CP Company. And here upstairs, there is a full section of CP Company. Now, the stuff that was in, in this room is not... Um, it's not included in the extra 20% off. This is just some standard prices off. So for example, this is 250, which is pretty good for that piece. But these prices seem to be quite heavily discounted with those hoodies coming in at 75 pounds, I think it was. Um, all these jackets here. And look, all of this stuff, this is all 10C stuff. Again, that 10C stuff, I remember it from the Hackney outlet. They had quite a few 10C items there, and now we're seeing it here in the Birmingham um, House of Fraser. That's all the 10C there. If you don't know about 10C, it's like a bit of an off shot from CP Company. It's really high quality stuff. A lot of people don't know about it, but it's really, uh, really, really good stuff. But here, here the hoodies gone down to £87.50 for, for some of those um, CP Company hoodies. Also, I noticed they had some of the Barbour CP Company collection behind this gentleman there on the top. I think that was a CP Company Barbour jacket, soft shells, overshirts. You can see the soft shell for 215, which is yeah, it's kind of okay. 250 for this jacket, kind of okay. I feel like the standard CP Company stuff price has really kind of gone down um, over the past couple of years. So those prices, to me, just seem kind of like normal sales prices. But look, here we've got some Barbour CP Company, sorry, Imperial Armani CP Company collection hats were for £50 for the baseball caps, CP Company hats, also uh, Stone Island bags at the bottom there, uh, gone down to, I think, 160 or 180 which I, I think is still quite a bit. Um, loads of CP Company goggle hats uh, down to 75 I know a lot of people like those. I'm not personally a fan, but they had loads of those as well. Um, baseball caps, um, Stone Island accessories, those hats were £45. A beach towel. I mean, gosh, man, there was so much stuff here. Here we can see they had more of this kind of special pieces from CP Company. And I even spotted some sandbanks in there as well on some really decent um, discounts so again if you're looking for more stuff outside of Stone Island then I think this outlet is really going to hit pretty well for some of you guys that are looking for those steals but all of these jackets here CP Company special pieces they were all down in the sale all that stuff there that you can see is kids stuff more CP Company we've got this Gore-Tex Parker that went down to 345 not sure if everyone would like the colour, but those jackets are pretty well made. 
over in the corner here, I, there were some Sandbanks jackets, which I could not believe. Um, that had went down to, and I, I've actually got that same, this same jacket, which is really nice. It's gone down to 420, and I believe the original was probably around the 850 mark or something like that. But those jackets are really nice, by the way. So if you manage to pick one up, then uh, that's a good shout. Uh, Fred Perry, more of these Imperial Mani, um, CP Company. Um, this uh, Metropolis jacket, I think that was. Like guys, man, this is, I've never seen so much stuff on sale. This is an absolutely crazy outlet um, here in Birmingham. Found another CP, was it Stone Island bag? Oh no, that was my bag, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Got some of the Metro Metropolis pieces here, that's gone down to 480. Still a little bit for me. Would have liked to have seen that a bit more. That was a really nice jacket. This is the Barbour CP Company Special and that's gone down to 450. That's a bit of a collector's piece. I'm surprised that one hasn't gone as yet, but I'm sure that one will not be hanging around for much longer. So as I trekked around, I wanted to see what else there was. All of this stuff here is kids wear, CP Company, Stone Island, absolutely tons of that stuff, man. I mean, it just goes to show how much stock has been built up and is it is this a as a result of people just not spending on this type of stuff or is it you know people are tending to, to trade down from luxury items now and they're looking for more reasonable price items and as a result all of these guys are kind of suffering with their prices um one thing i want to show you as well is this stone island leather jacket which is an absolutely monster of a piece they had two of those there, one in size large, I think the other one was extra large, and that had gone down to 1,250, which although is a collector's piece, I, I, I just think that's too much money. But you know, it's, it's a leather piece with shelling on the inside, so I'm sure it will last, but yeah, I just wouldn't spend that money on that jacket. They also had some AMI in there, and to be honest, when I looked at this AMI logo and the, and the tickets, it looked kind of funny, man. That Ami t-shirt looked kind of funny. I even looked at the label and even the label looked kind of funny. So this one just looked suspect, if I'm to be honest with you. Now, don't quote me on that, but I'm just saying that Ami t-shirt looked, something looked up. It did not look right. It, it almost looked like a counterfeit, to be honest. But I don't know. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying it looked a bit weird. Um, so yeah, as I trotted through the store, I wanted to see what kind of other items they had. Um, they had footwear all down at the bottom on the other side there. Um, lots of footwear. I saw some Stone Island trainers, Adidas, all these different accessories, like wow man. I mean if you're a little store or a little shop or somewhere online, this could be a good place to do some reselling and basically buy some stock at low prices and try and resell them personally. Um, Stone Island boots there, again these were from the outlet over in Hackney because I remember those. So lots of different boots, different brands, you know it's all random stuff. So. You, the thing is with this place is you're going to have to spend a little bit of time kind of like sifting through if you're looking for the deals, okay? But yeah, again, lots of different stuff to, to choose from. Once I turn around this corner here, you can see that there's some Stone Island Juniors and Stone Island Kids stuff, so they had loads of those around. More kids wear stuff. When I got down to the other side, there was absolutely tons of trainers. Now, granted, it's not probably going to be trainers that are sought after. But look, man, if you're looking for some beaters and some old beaters, stuff to run around with, some mission trainers when you're doing your little side missions, um, then they had trainers there for, for cheap, guys. This stuff was like dirt cheap. Now, again, granted, it might not be the stuff that everyone wants, but this stuff was all available. Loads of trainers all in different sizes, football trainers, football boots, all this type of stuff. And as you walk down here, there was just more accessories and clothing. I mean, look at the aisles. Look at this. Aisles and aisles and aisles and aisles of stuff. There was tons of stuff. This is definitely the biggest outlet that I have come across in a very, very, very long time. There is a massive shift of items that they're just trying to clear and shift here. But... It was lots of Kappa and Adidas and all this type of stuff. I, I don't personally know how, how popular that is for people. Me personally, if I see something that I just think is good quality, I don't care if it's Kappa or Lonsdale or whoever. The, if I like the look of it, I'm going to wear it. I'm not caught up into this whole, 
well it's super dry it's kappa it's adidas or whatever mate i don't care if the price is good and it looks good and i, I need it in my wardrobe i'm gonna pick it up that's the way my mindset is I, I don't brand watch anymore i used to do that but now i don't care about that but yeah if you see over to the left that's all kids all women's stuff i didn't go bother going back down there look socks two pounds mate what is going on in this outlet this outlet is crazy but again, over on the other side, I actually found some Balenciaga. Yep, they had some Balenciaga stuff there, guys. But the prices was was really, really high at some 1,200. I am not a Balenciaga fan, but I know some people might like it. So they did have one or two Balenciaga tops or jackets in there. I also noticed that they had some D squared items, quite a few D squared um, pieces there, as you can see. Uh, price points were looking around about 50% off even saw some Kenzo there and that's it guys that was my tour of the store I want to give a big shout out to the follower that gave us the heads up and once that follower gave us the heads up I had loads of people um, give us the heads up and I put it out on Facebook I put it out on our Instagram so make sure to follow us on there and I know for sure that quite a lot of our followers went down to this store and they did a little clear out and they got themselves some deals because they sent me the pictures of some of the stuff they've got so look guys that's the end of my um, outlet tour here in Birmingham it was a fun day out coming down to Birmingham chances are I will return because I want to study this store properly to see what types of stock was in there because I didn't really have enough time to look around but yeah hopefully you guys have got the heads up and you'll be able to check it out remember if you want more stuff like this follow us on our Facebook group because that's where we kind of let our followers know about the deals and all the different things also on Instagram is another good place to follow us but for now guys I'm out of here I've got lots more videos coming so make sure you stay tuned for it okay peace love all the best catch in a bit